Bound by the history of the ancient Silk Road, China and Arab states are natural partners for Belt and Road cooperation. In recent years, both sides have continued to strengthen strategic coordination and synergy of actions, and the joint construction of the Belt and Road has achieved fruitful results. At the heart of the desert, some 50 kilometers east of Cairo, Egypt, a new modern city is rising above the ground. The central business district in Egypt's new administrative capital is the largest project implemented by a Chinese company in Egypt so far. The CBD covers an area of more than 500,000 square meters. It's not only an important project of Egypt's National Rejuvenation Plan, but also a flagship project under the framework of the BRI. Among around 20 skyscrapers, is a 385-meter-high, iconic tower, the tallest building in Africa. I learned here in Iconic Tower uh, how to build high-rise building in desert. This new ex experience that we have in Egypt and uh, we transfer experience together between Chinese and, and Egyptian. CISIC always takes care about using new technology that helps to reduce energy consumption and how it helps for sustainability. The whole project is expected to be completed by the end of 2023. <laughs> On the eastern coast of Saudi Arabia, workers from a Chinese company are racing against time to build a manufacturing facility. The project is undertaken under the Belt and Road Initiative. It's an important part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 reform plan, an ambitious plan to reduce the country's dependence on oil and diversify its economy. Upon completion, it is expected to become one of the largest shipyards in the world. <laughs> نلتزم بمبادرة الحزم والطريق بمبدأ التشاور المكثف والمساهمة المشتركة في المنافع وتعميق التعاون المتبادل للمنفعة والمربح للجانبين والذي يعود بالنفع على شعوب البلدين كما أنه يدفع العالم إلى الأمام نحو رؤية نحو الرؤية الجميلة لتحقيق الرخاء المشترك تواصل المملكة العربية السعودية الترويج لرسو رؤية 2030 بمبادرة الحزم والطريق وقد قام البلدان علاقات تعاون وثيقة في مجالات الاقتصاد والتجارة والطاقة والبيئة التحتية Located in the Horn of Africa the Red Sea nation of Djibouti has been actively participating in the BRI. It has worked with China on infrastructure and trade projects that dovetail with the Djibouti Vision 2035. Djibouti or East Africa relation with China is a very long-standing relations. So we had a very long commercial relations with China all the time. It is a revival of that trade again, the Silk Road. The Doala multi-purpose port and the Djibouti International Free Trade Zone, both built by Chinese companies, have been hailed as bridges to fulfill Djibouti's socio-economic transformation. The DMP has an annual design capacity of 7.08 million tons of cargo, 
Since its opening in 2017, the port has increased the efficiency of vessel operations by nearly four times. It's one of the deepest uh, seaports in this region. So uh, we are achieving uh, very good productivity all over Africa. Home to about 200 companies, the Djibouti International Free Trade Zone has been in operation for about four years. Over the years, the China-Arab Strategic Partnership has achieved remarkable progress and grown closer, stronger and deeper. In 2021, the total trade volume between China and Arab states was 330 billion US dollars, up 37% year on year. China and Arab countries have joined hands to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. As of June 2022, China had provided 330 million doses of vaccines to Arab states and the Arab League. The Chinese and Arab peoples have also learned from each other in encouraging people-to-people -people and cultural exchanges. As noted in a declaration of actions on China-Arab BRI cooperation inked in 2018, the BRI serves as an opportunity to achieve the common development of participating countries and advance China-Arab strategic partnership. <laughs>